The T-72A was accepted for service with the Russian Army in June 1979 and is a further development of the standard MBT T-72, which entered production in 1970. T-72 was the most common tank used by the Soviet Army until the collapse of the Soviet Union. It was also exported to other Warsaw Pact countries, as well as Finland, India, Iran, Iraq, Syria and Yugoslavia, and being copied both with and without licenses. An estimated 50,000 units have been built. Despite its age the tank forms the mainstay not just of Third World armies with limited defense budgets, but of several highly modern well-funded forces, such as those of Algeria, India and Russia itself. Russia alone fields well over 10,000 T-72 battle tanks and continues to upgrade their capabilities to allow them to compete effectively with the most advanced armor today. The most recent example has been the heavily upgraded T-72B3 variant, with capabilities which in many ways eclipse those of early variants of the newer T-80 and T-90 tanks. Russia can upgrade them conveniently as it has large industrial complex, but countries which had imported these tanks in large numbers from Soviet Union or Russia are in state of dilemma, either upgrade existing fleet or procure new and advanced vehicle in limited numbers. T-72 base tank needs upgradation in every aspect including armor, firepower, and mobility. On armor the base T-72M1 tank had 400mm equivalent rolled homogeneous armor against kinetic energy projectiles and 490mm RHA against heat shapes charges on the turret front and 400mm on the front glasses. These figures are too low against modern projectile, like heat shells, and anti-tank missiles have effective penetration of 1000 mm of armor, even modern APFSDS rounds can easily penetrate 700 mm of RHA at 2 km. As a result armor upgradation on base tank is a necessity of current battlefield conditions. Most of T-72 tanks upgradation packages have extensive use of ERA modules. It is proved from the past, the tank catches fire once penetrated, the flawed design and cramped interior with huge auto-loading mechanism favors the ignition of propellant charges, resulting in the blowing of turret. Upgradation beside armor improvement also requires complete interior redesign with ammo protection. With addition of explosive reactive armor modules weight of tank also increases, and engine upgradation becomes necessity, as weight of T-72M1 tank is around 44 tons, and engine power is 780 horsepower having power to weight ratio of 17.5 horsepower per ton, which is on lower margin. New engines with power between 1000 to 1200 horsepower need to be installed to improve mobility. T-72 tanks were fitted with a 125mm D81 Smoothbore gun, a 7.62mm coaxial gun, and a 12.7mm air defense machine gun mounted on the commander's cupola. Firepower is improved in terms of enhancement of fire control system and addition of new sights, including independent sight for commander. On most upgraded packages the tank retain 125mm 2A46M and coaxial 7.62mm guns, but manually operated 12.7mm heavy machine gun is replaced by remotely operated station. Further auxiliary improvements include addition of APU, laser warning receiver, air conditioning, and bar slat armor at the rear. Unit cost of T-72M tank was from 1 to 2 million US dollar, and upgradation cost of unit is from 1 to 1.5 million dollars depending on upgrades. As a case study, in 2019 Polish Ministry of Defense awarded a 460 million US dollars contract to modernize over 300 T-72 tanks. While cost of Leopard 2A6 tank is around $6 million, with this cost and compensation by selling old T-72 tanks to other countries which can use them on their front lines or cannibalize them for their existing fleets, Poland can easily procure around 100 Leopard 2A6 MBTs, which are far more superior to upgraded T-72 tanks. Although T-72 tanks provide advantage of numbers, but quantitative factor is diminished in current warfare, where tanks have to fight on urban as well as conventional front, and only MBTs with superior technologies will survive, as clear from the Middle East. Similarly India operates around 1500 T-72 M1s, and upgradation time of these tanks is about 10 to 15 years, almost equivalent to procurement of same number of advanced new vehicles. 
But costly high-tech tank is not requirement of every operation on certain instance, armies required moderately advanced low-cost tank that can be quickly deployed on the battlefield, like providing fire support against counter-insurgency operations. These are conditions which favors the upgradation program, but having limited number of new and latest tank is also better option as they can be upgraded in the future, while the advancement T-72 tanks are receiving now is maybe their last one. Even after a decade the threat these tank has to face will be different. This is the dilemma which is associated with the upgradation of T-72 tanks.